want to look globally uh, to basically see if we can show that this is a that the Whitey event was a global event. And so we need cores from around the world where we can identify the Younger Dryas boundary layer in those cores and then hopefully look and see if those same impact proxies are present in those cores. Also going forward, you know, CRG, we've always been interested in looking at possible craters. There's craters out there that could date to as recent as 13,000. I mean, you know, simply there hasn't been enough work done on them to date them. Uh, so that takes a lot of time, takes a lot of money, takes a lot of effort to get the cores, to get the evidence, to process all of that data, try to figure out are any of these craters potentially, you know, what we would call our first evidence of Younger Dryas impact as a crater. Now, most of our evidence has been things that we call distal ejecta, right? Spirals and nano diamonds and things that when we have an impact, what, what we think happened, of course, is that maybe there were thousands or even tens of thousands of explosions or airbursts when the Earth passed through the trail of a comet, a fragmented comet. And all of that material is spread atmospherically. It appears that is virtually everywhere we look we're able to find that distal ejecta but we haven't yet found any evidence of an actual crater but again there's been so little work done and of course 70 percent of the earth is ocean so if we have any ydb craters they're likely going to be in the ocean uh, so there's a tremendous amount of work that it needs to be done to, to try to determine if those craters are out there and if they if they date to the younger dross time period